This is the full VOD of the matchup between Weibo and Fnatic. Let's dive into the picks and bans. It's being removed. Another one could go, but uh, it's going to be Aurora first. I also kind of felt like both teams were warming up in that game. Yeah. So I definitely want to see about changes not only in draft, but also in gameplay here for, for both of these teams. But as we said, you know, Fnatic, again, another Aurora ban. Uh, seems like they really uh, have not invested the time to utilize it themselves. It's very common on red side, though. So it hey! should, should just be the wombo combo of red side bans. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, uh, it's beautiful. That's, that's exactly <laughs> what we want to see. Aurora and Yone, both of them taken away. And now you get your one ban. Congrats. You know, at first, it is going to be the Callista taken away from Weibo, though. We'll see what they're going to round out these bans with. Might tell a little bit of a story as to what they're going to go for for their first pick. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Weibo are not going to do another Nidalee Lucian game. I still no. feel like so I don't Renekton think you need to ban still those. stands out to me for some reason. I'm kind of hoping first pick Renekton isn't a thing. I wouldn't mind uh, <sighs> Skarner again. Going to get prioritized here. Not bad. Take it away from Razok, who was so incredibly good at it in game number one. Kind of okay with uh, where it's going so far. Definitely is a change up here for Weibo. Mm, all right, Fnatic. If we go Vi plus some kill oriented mid lane, maybe. They don't do it quite yet. Rel Vi is a lot of CC, though, and it certainly sets up a game plan here for Fnatic. Plus, I have to say, Rel in the previous game looked exceptional. Oh, so yeah. I would say immediately go right back on that, slam it. Uh, I think Jun definitely kind of gapped Crisp in the previous game. So now, like you're saying, they've got really good guaranteed engage. And it's up to Weibo Whoa. to break up the Vi plus, you know, kill-oriented mid lane, the Orianna hover, uh, as well as the Ari hover here so far. Yep, Ariana will be locked away, so Xiaohu back to what has worked so far in that one game. So that was just a dare. He was like, all right, so you want to play some Ari yeah. uh, plus Vi? Well, uh, you know, I can't do ahead. anything about it, so <laughs> yeah. you can do that if you want to. Ha <laughs> ha. Got you. <laughs> yeah. Do they want to go for the Jax here? We've seen a lot of that. I do think Skarner, as far as, you know, deliverers of Ariana's ball, not the best. Jax would make a lot of sense, does give you a lot of threat, and has also been a very popular blind pick. I do think that if you do have a good Gragas, like we saw yeah, how please. lopsided that matchup can feel. I do think that that's going to be a next rotation thing. Maybe yeah. uh, Weibo even will throw a band towards it because you need to guarantee if something with this Vi, it's going to be the Ari. We've seen this combo a million times. Everyone knows how it works. You hit level six, the opposing mid laner is, is immobile. They, they probably die. Yeah, I would say straight up here, though, already some pretty good adjustments from Weibo. They have so much sec more security this time around as far as the scaling of the comp into the later stage of the game, team fighting as well as split pushing options. So they're really covering all of their bases here and you can tell uh, game number one was just a very quick like opening of the series can we immediately destroy you in the early stages and the answer was no the so answer instead, was an emphatic no yes and then they decided oh well Fnatic picked champions that won so let's pick them uh, no Syndra though it is going to be Ariana instead but certainly works in a very similar way very orb focused as now the bands to be coming through the Alistair going to be taken away just to protect that Rel matchup Zaya left at the same time. Is Cassante going to be yeah, removed? I, I'm not a big fan of that Cassante ban. Uh, Cassante, to me, has I think really it saves actually Oscar Innan, to be honest. Yeah, it, it, well, not only that, but it's also, I think, struggled a lot into the Jacks. And to me, I think Fnatic are going to be looking for something that can augment the dive in, in one way or another, right? Either uh, layer more dive power together with it, or try to go for something that, like a rumble, right? Where you can use the ultimate on the Vi target and go from there. Top lane should be the lock in here and then they can save the counter pick for Noah. Unless they have something really crazy in top, can also just lock in something for Noah here. Maybe as real, something that is pretty self-sufficient, allows the Rel to go by them. I think this makes a ton of sense, right? Yeah. The ultimate of Rumble combined with Virel, that's a very scary combo to go up against. Yeah, kind of like what you were talking about earlier. They already have the, the base layer yeah. for a good Rumble pick with a Rel and a Vi engaged to hold people in place for that ultimate. Uh, so it makes a lot of sense into the Jax there. And Light will actually steal away that Ezreal because he's worried about the Vi-Ari combination. And that is one way to try and gain some extra distance. 
Yep. Is it just going to be another Leona to be locked in here for Crisp? Certainly has been something as a favorite alongside the Ezreal, but instead some more mobility. Oh. Is the Rakan going to be taken down? And now Jun, considering a misfortune here for Noah to play the other side of the matchup this time, of course, it's not Avaris being wielded against him. This is Ooh. what Light was on in the last game. I'm, I, I, Atlas, I'm sorry, but I kind of like Jin. In yeah. this scenario. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it because I didn't want to say it. And I don't and have Rel? to say it. It's okay. Jin's not here. Um, he can't hurt you. I wouldn't have minded it. Uh, as the Misfortune is going to be locked in. And I, I like Misfortune when there's Rumble in the game. Equalizer bullet oh, yeah. time. It's part of the most classic Wombo combo that we've ever had in the game. Unfortunately, there's no Amumu, but it's fine. You can layer Here's these abilities on top of each other. With a Magnet Storm, you can just kill everyone. Here's my question to you, though. How much wombo combo is too much? Do you even need the extra no. piece of misfortune? Because no. do you want another, like, oh, No big... such thing as too much. Because <laughs> then, then after you use it, like, what if you whiff, you know? And that's uh, a good point. Or what if they don't have a good setup for it? For Weibo, I think his composition feels miles ahead in terms of what it can do. Like, I, feel, I still think it has some points in the early game, right? If you do get a combo, if you find someone with the Impale and you layer some damage on top, definitely a lot weaker in the early game. But between the Jax and the Rakan specifically, that Orianna is going to have a ton of power. And I do think that this is a style, a style of composition where Fnatic is going to have to be the aggressor, which obviously uh, has been somewhat of a double-edged sword for them. Yeah, and I do think now with a bit of like a game breathing room for yeah. Fnatic, maybe it's time to go back and see whether dominating an early game can just lead to victory as it has for this team in the past, or whether they do have to go back to adding some of these scaling elements and trying to help things along here for the squad. But I think that there are a lot of notable differences here from Weibo as well. As we dive under the rift here for game number two, it's the fact that the, I don't think the Jax value is nearly as high as it was in game number one for Oscar in it. You know what value I think is very high, though? What's that? Light's Ezreal. Because yeah. Light's Ezreal was his most played in summer and in summer playoffs. Uh, and and th this player has really been, like, the most consistent, um, like, best carry for Weibo, I feel like, over the course. So Light on the Ezreal, I think, is going to do a lot for them. For me, maybe I've just become too much of an MF hater. Maybe. Um, but, uh, Which is but reasonable. We'll, we'll, see the, we'll see about the execution, though. I think this game will look very different. And you can see as well. Remember to log into your Riot account on lolesports.com and watch Worlds live to earn exclusive Worlds emotes, icons, and capsules. I hope that our segue was all right. I'll keep working on it as the days I, I, go on. I really think you did a good job until you asked. Talked about it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, but that's what I like to do, because then I can never do a good job, and it fits in with the vibe. But you, you did a really good I, I, I go, <laughs> oh, I, I don't need to dive into this right now. Uh, does look like Weibo, at the very least, want to figure out what is happening here. Yeah, I'm they actually want to commit to a fight. I like that. Number one goal, let's figure out what's happening here. Why? <laughs> to, be, to be fair, in terms, of, la in terms of lane swaps, I do think that's a good call. Are what? they actually going to commit to the level what, one? What's happening here is a level one five on five. So we figured, we figured that's out. That's what's happening? <laughs> All right, we've got a crash down, though. His breathe is kind of separated. Does have Counter-Strike, probably one of the best abilities for level one in the game. Oscar in, and he's firing these harpoons, man. He's finding a lot of value as well. He's running pretty hot right now, looking for another angle there. Does find the last one. That is, I, I want to see the damage done here in this level one, because I feel like this uh, rumble has certainly done a whole lot already. <laughs> What's the, the result? Just, Kobe, the, break just, it down. Just, the look on Chronicler's face is the best. <laughs> I'm just so, trying to. What? Just so you know, at home, we have like a fully running uh, like TikTok I, stream that shows the casters. <laughs> I think just for Chronicler's face, I think it is well worth like. Okay, I, I, no, you just but, zoom it in. You just like have it open on lolesports.com as well. If that, and no, but that. if that Rakan was a Brom, I'm like, yes, please fully commit to going for an early invade. Uh, we'll yeah, have to if see you what... had wheels, you'd be a bike. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have to see what the actual repercussions of this are going to be, because right now all it's costed Weibo <laughs> is, is a teleport, and obviously in uh, many lane swap situations you'd be teleporting towards that wave anyway. But I don't know what it says for Weibo. Uh, no one ended up dying. It, I know. I think Razor <laughs> must have shot, uh, um, gotten in here with his Q, because they knew the yeah. ward is there. All right, let's focus up. We got yep. Ari Vi. <laughs> Ari Vi mid lane looking to burn some summoner spells and look at River too. Yeah, Jun is heading up. going to speed him up as, yep, Flash does come out. Razok does exactly what he needs to as Jun's going to turn up as well. Going to be difficult for Shahu in the lane from now on. Just checking some camps here and you can see Razok already 
was pretty far ahead. I think uh, Tarzan has now managed to try and catch back up again, but full information of where the jungler is now as Noah catches the wave. And Atlas, checking off the boxes that yeah. you always have when you have an, a Vi'ari, first step is always burn the enemy mid summoner spell early on so that when you get your level sixes, then you can actually get the kill with that guaranteed combo. The only thing you give up is vision of your jungler when you pass through mid and Weibo looking to punish on that. Yeah, information over to both sides here is that is going to be Tarzan locking down the blue buff, gets the crash into the wall as well as Noah's going to come on over. Level three, Breathe taking a fair bit of damage now as Humanoid, he can rotate over as well. They're going Tarzan in! Possibly in trouble, there's the crash down, Crisp taking so much damage, but he flashes to get away. Razok doing exactly the same thing, Noah just standing there looking for someone to hit, as Razok should be taken out, but not before they get the kill on the Rakan. And now Chow, who remember, doesn't have flash, stuck. and is now in the Thunderdome, but the rest of Weibo Ooh. are there, trying to keep him safe. And it looks like Fnatic will just back away. Good escort, and it looks like both teams said, okay, game number one it was a little bit low, Action, a little bit too slow paced. What was it? Well, <laughs> compared to this, it was. <laughs> well, no one's not done. coming on over. Maybe this is just an extended fight as they will just let the Jacks go home. That Tarzan, he wants to be able to take this Rift Scuttler, and maybe we'll just have waves being attacked as Jun just, uh, At just some watches. Point, we gotta pay some attention to the creeps. That was actually a really big kind of like defense of the recall there for Weibo. If they've been able to, to interrupt Bree's recall here, it really would have messed up his timing because they push in on the bottom wave immediately afterwards, but he gets it off. And so we're actually going to have uh, the regular swap now with Chris rotating up to light on that top side of the map. And Razork actually stealing away from the enemy side here. Let's see how much he can get. Razark already with the pass through mid and, and bringing that summoner spell was, is quite big in setting up their early game, but we'll see if he can continue. Yeah, that's what led to that fight in the first place. It was the fact that Razark went for the gank on mid and then went back into his own jungle, where obviously Weibo were trying to contest, did end up getting it, and now looking at everything that happened, feels like it's still fairly even, right? A lot of summoners blown on the side of Weibo, but unless a big fight breaks out early on, shouldn't be too big of a detriment. Yeah, I'd say the biggest advantage here uh, is actually on the side of Fnatic, and that is with Razzurk's possible opportunities for the next plays, because Breeze now, no teleport. Tarzan now, no teleport as well. Uh, so if they're able to shift the lanes backwards, then Razork is going to have a lot of opportunities. And Humanoid will get to his level 6 very soon. Of course, the Vi is going to take quite a bit longer since we've had extra time skirmishing and not full clearing. Yep. Crisp is going to find the position of Razork. Definitely important is now Breathe. Getting stunned up, I think, holding on to the Counter-Strike. And that's why Jun doesn't want to overcommit here. Still going to throw the crash down in, and there is that Counter-Strike to come out. Just trying to zone him away as this, best they can. This wave state is horrible, though. It's pushing away from Breathe, and the rest of Weibo is towards the top side of the map, trying to get these grubs. They will get that. Fnatic looking to counter with both a Dragon and possibly Jun. He's still backing. It looks like they're going to let Breathe get to the wave anyway. So just a trade of objectives here. Yeah, quite nice uh, there for Weibo. Honestly, the player that I had my magnifying glass on from the you know champion select in light on his Ezreal, is probably the place that they are still most confident in, even though Noah got the first blood, so the extra bonus money in that skirmish. Because of the extra CS here for Light, who had been CSing on top side of the map, still on a very good pace in this game. Yeah, because everything's been so chaotic, but we did see for a brief moment there as well, Oscar just getting pelted by Ezreal. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of the few matchups as well, where particularly after the Rumble nerfs, just kind of sitting there, uh, and you get poked down, it's really hard for you to get on top of the Ezreal. And even if you do get on top of him, quite as much damage as you do before. Razork should be getting closer towards the level 6, but Xiao now will have his flash available. So that should take away at least one possible risk here for Weibo. We'll see whether they can play around that one. There's Noah here now, still supported by Jonan. If you do have a look at where the CS numbers are at, it's sort of like you can see that Light is ahead of Noah, but they haven't been leaning against one another, right? And so the fact that Breathe is being kept down so much, I think really does help sort of mitigate some of the issues that have been uh, happening here in this early game as far as farm, because Oscarinen is going to be getting towards a pretty scary point because this composition, it spikes pretty hard on that level six mark. Throwing down that equalizer and sending it up on top of the cease and desist can be absolutely deadly if we do fight for this next pack of groves. And speaking of level sixes, there you go. In time for that fight, Razork gets his. So Vi ultimate available. First plate is going to be taken down here. Almost grabs a second as well here on the side of Weibo. 
But Norinjun just going to try and make this one an honest one. A little bit of an Australian lane swap as the bottom lane moves towards topside. Quite early as well, considering normally this happens to try and get... Oh! Whoa, there's the flash in the Shattering Strike and the bullet time comes through, Chris! There was nothing he could do about it. It's now Tarzan looking for an opportunity. They're not going to be able to find the angle. Good flash to get Razork out of there. And Fnatic, they strike. Exceptional flash from Jun. Jun has been magnificent in this series for Fnatic. Really big determining factor in game number one, coming up with a couple of big engages in this game as well. He was the one who started out the bottom side skirmish uh, for, for their side as well. And it was a little bit of acting, you know, with Razor kind of walking yeah. back the other direction. Razor kind of made them look the other way as Humanoid does get hit with a shockwave for now. Yeah, Chris gonna battle dance forward. No flash from Humanoid, just holds onto it and doesn't actually need it. So nicely done. Equalizer has to be used here towards the bottom side just to try and get breathe off of Oscar Rinnan, but it is a trade of ultimates in the end. I just think that the Equalizer, a little bit more valuable in the upcoming fights. Yeah, Shao is, is only sitting on tier. So I imagine you when I press tab, he's like, no, I uh, I don't need to invest anything Rikan there. coming in for all that damage, Chronicle. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. that might have been the point. That it, it, it was. Yeah, thank you, Adlis. <laughs> Appreciate have it. Have you seen the AP mid roaming Rakans? <laughs> I have. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah. No, not in It's okay. It was a fault. I, I, haven't, I haven't experienced it myself. All right. Speaking of roaming uh, mids, though, Humanoid being assisted by Jun to clear out some of this vision. Again, always looking at that synergy between uh, Razark Jun and Humanoid to pull out some of these plays. Humanoid, not only you mentioned him holding on to the flash there, he also has his ultimate available. So kind of itching to make a play. Vision control around mid, plus having uh, everything ready here. Seems like Fnatic are kind of poised to blow some summoner spells in the next couple of minutes, because you already see Jun on reset, going right back out, holding hands with Razork. You kind of tether those two together the support jungle engage combo, looking to move towards the grub fight. And with this fight, Ari, you want to be the one that's at the objective first. You get to decide with full information whether you want to take a oh, fight or Tarzan not. Oh, Tarzan with a little yoink here. Ooh, yeah. That's actually quite big. Do not, Reef already has his TP available. Oscar's almost ready, but not quite yet. Yeah, this ward is going to be cleared out here by Weibo as they look to start off these grubs. Already three in possession, so they only need to get one to activate these mites. Is now Shao rotating over, over a ward as well, but gets that Reaver's ward back. into the river. And so that is going to be the first one taken down. Four grubs, make that five. As Fnatic just say, yeah, you had six last time and we still seem to win, so may as well just not fight for it. If they're not taking it, then Oscar, and how come he didn't hard push on the wave? Now he goes up to hard push the wave that all of them are gone. Looks like Rumble, sh it, it, probably the extra few seconds probably don't matter. He's waiting around for the extra information. Since it's not a cannon wave, those will all die to tower anyway. Yep, you got Fnatic able to get a crash in towards his top lane as well. As Breathe will look to catch it. And so Weibo just back to business now. Still going to be about a 1,000 gold lead here available for Fnatic. So things going just fine in this early game. See what they can make happen here as we move into the mid game where they can exert so much of this pressure with the Vi Ari, as well as Oscar Inan as he gets a couple of items built up almost towards the Leandries, which is such a big spike. Big difference here, obviously, though, is that Weibo is, is completely fine with this going to yeah. late game, right? But Weibo isn't really nearly as pressed. There's no Renek in Italy, uh, no Lucian mid trying to look for flanks. They have a composition that if they ever, regardless of what the game state is, hit their spikes, if they hit a big ultimate of either Crisp, Xiao, and Tarzan in any combination, or get a good flank from Brief, they can always find an angle into a fight. Particularly, I think Noah and Oscar Rinin, both of these champions, they have a lot of threat, but they're also immobile, so you need to be careful. A lot of movement speed, but that alone might not be enough if Crisp finds access to the back line. As now, second Drake, I think, is what Fnatic wants to be looking for here. Yep. Again, with those ultimates available, I think as a Viari comp, you should always be looking to try and play. As uh, looks like the mid wave just going to be fully dropped. Humanoid making his way over. That's pretty costly for Fnatic. They got to go. Yeah, Razok making his way in, make it rain to slow them down. Is Light taking a bit of damage from that double up as well? Fnatic do get themselves into the river. It's just a, a cloud vision. Drake. Look at the vision for Weibo here. They're very well aware of what is happening. Well, they also are going to be able to get control of this bottom wave. Jun just trying to get himself in there. Shattering Strike just onto Tarzan, but he's still going to pressure him away. Now, Weibo, they can start off this Drake if they'd like to, but instead just want to take control of these waves. And I think we're going to do this dance again, gentlemen. 
Yeah, and you can tell too with mid wave push, now Humanoid gets to move into the river and fully clear out all this vision. So a little prio there does enable the setup here for Fnatic a lot easier for them. We've also got full BT completed for Noah in time for this fight. That's a big spike. Yeah. They definitely want to use it. Weibo's stalling a bit though, down there though and did make them a, a little bit extra cautious. But in the end, they're going to seed it due to the completed items here. Yeah, looks like Fnatic will just be able to take this one down. Crisp is going to poke his head in and see what's going on, but Tarzan not in the area, and that is going to mean the Dragon does go over to Fnatic. We've got another Ocean Soul back to back this game. A lot of brushes, as now Crisp is going to get slowed down, but it's Rakan, fair bit of mobility as far oh. as options there. They get the teleport out. Razzle just holds onto the ulti. But now the Magnus Storm still comes in. Bullet time doing so much work as Crisp. Burning down, but still going to be able to escape. Breathe. And now Breathe on the flank angle, and he finds Jun, takes him out. And that is going to be the second kill in the fight as Razok hits the deck. Weibo, they struck a little bit late in that one, but it worked out so beautifully. I think Bin's Jax yesterday kind of inspired everybody. Uh, yeah, I think so. Previous to that, Jax had not been winning that much. And now coming out with a, a nice teleport flank himself, Breathe gets in there in the back with the Counter-Strike. It was nicely set up by Weibo uh, pretty early on here, though, with the trap towards Tribrush. Yumino also not able to join that fight. I think they did have his teleport available, but it looked initially like uh, either you can turn there with the turn from Razork onto Crisp, actually take him down. And I think the second teleport kind of caught Fnatic off guard, because otherwise, if they teleport Yumino in earlier and the Ari can assist with just a little bit of damage, the restart starts uh, that's, coming online. That's the key point, because it was very sneaky play there from Weibo, yeah. you know, putting all that vision down and setting up the play. They're like, okay, fine. You get the Dragon and kind of uh, Fnatic lull them to sleep as they reset after acquiring their objective. Then Weibo strike and get some extra money. Oh, Tarzan gets over the wall there. Suppression does come on through. Is now Humanoid down to 50% as Light throwing out these Mystic Shots, doing so much work as Humanoid gets over the wall, avoids the rock, but is now not able to get back, just teleported towards that top side. And so Weibo should be able to now use that in order to grab this Rift Herald. Oh, if Crisp had led that a little bit further on his Recon knockup, probably would have at least forced Humanoid's Flash, uh, but it was just inside and the Ari ultimate distance was enough to get Humanoid out. This time, just like in game number one, Weibo is going to be able to pick this up. Ooh, Oscar, Oscar yeah, take Oscar this turret as well. has been left to his own devices in the bot lane, so just pushing away. First turret blood to come through. Ooh, John looking for a little bit of a wraparound Ooh. here as all oh, Razok not able to get the interruption on the back. There goes the Rift Herald. Tarzan collects that one. We'll see whether we get an earlier turret take in mid lane this time as if at first you don't succeed, let's just do it again. As he does get charmed, doesn't quite work out as Crisp with the quickness finds one charm. There's the knock up, the flash forward into the impale. Shockwave layered on top. Man, that looked completely unplayable for Humanoid and that spelled his death as Weibo now looking to push forward, find more, maybe even just find this turret. Yep, that is a very dead mid laner. And guess what? The gold went to the perfect spot for Weibo. Light says real, getting paid here. They should be able to keep up the pressure, push in the extra wave, and then swap down to the other side. Already look, Jax is, is going straight for the turret right now. So Breathe as well going to benefit from this pressure. In the previous play, Way back in mid lane, felt like we praised Humanoid for uh, holding on to his flesh. This time around, if there's that much CC, you know the moment you get hit by anything, it's pretty much game over. Did feel very telegraphed. Maybe the call was that even if he does invest the flesh, Chris just follows up with uh, his own and you still end up going down. I'd have to see the replay, but it is a big win for Weibo. And again, unlike game number one, this isn't the game where they need to get big leads. They can just keep playing for these team fights, particularly with Light in the spot that he's in right now. Yeah, you can definitely feel the difference uh, look a lot more calm here. I will say a lot of the breaking points in these types of ones usually come down to that third dragon as well, because you don't really want to give away the dragon's soul point, which if you get the third one, then you're kind of risking your opponents just like flipping and stealing one later to get a big benefit. So. Uh, usually will throw down a bit early. And then if you look at your item break points for Weibo, it's looking beautiful. They have all of their Merc Treads for their tenacity, uh, for all of the engage from uh, Fnatic. And then they have uh, the main damage items here and working on their second item power spikes here for the two carries. Yep, and I think like two item spikes for Ezreal and for the Orianna oh, need yeah. no introduction. 
and that is going to be a terrifying time for Fnatic when those items do get completed. I think Light must be very, very close to that Muramana completion, almost getting to full stacks, and that is going to mean this Ezreal is going to be fully unlocked. And so the gold, about 500, not really anything in it at all, and I think 22 seconds, that's when this Ocean Drake is going to spawn, and Soul Point going to be really powerful for giving Fnatic control moving forward in this series. Or in this game, at least. Yeah, this is going to be a big breaking point. For Fnatic, there is basically two modes. Big engage with uh, an MF ult and a rumble, or picking off a single target. For Weibo, want to try and keep that backline safe and have Tarzan and Brief take up all the initial damage. As Harold is dropped mid, we do have Brief with a teleport. This time, the ward's not quite as good as they were in the previous play. So, Humanoid a little bit far up here as they're trying to get some control. Shattering Strike comes in, another crash down as there's the Equalizer doing Dead. a lot of work. And there goes the Skana, couldn't do anything about it at all. It's Chris, Battle Dances his way out. And the Rift Herald does get a charge, might get a turret, but I don't think they'll get a dragon. Deja Vu? Yeah. I, well, okay, this time it does go down. Okay, yeah, finish, finish. Whew. All right, Breathe is in the top lane though, looking to try and trade Dragon for an inner turret. It's going to be a, a large influx of gold here for Weibo if he's able to get it. Especially Ooh, if they Oscar. get a cheeky Oscar in and with it as Jun coming up, trying to keep TP. himself alive. It's, yeah, they're taking a lot of damage. Chris going to have to get out of there. The Rumble does fall, but I think they'll be trading top laners as Breathe looking to get out. That's going to be Noah collecting the kill as well. It's the worst possible scenario. And now Humanoid, he's got some more dashes. Light comes in and Humanoid goes out. But Xiaohu may not Noah. be so lucky. Noah's flashing forward. He's a psycho, but it's working. As Light tries to push him away and will be successful. Oh, oh man. And this chain from Fnatic all starts with them saying, fine, we're just going to see. First hero we see, kill that hero. And they immediately just destroy. A tale as old as time. <laughs> yes. You love to see it. And, and that's what you need to break it back down to. If you have a team that has so much CC and, and is built around getting picks, just take the first opportunity. And they deleted the front line from Weibo, which allowed them to get Dragon number three. Then this kind of follow on play where Weibo like, all right, Fnatic are probably going to commit more resources to taking that Dragon. But Fnatic only left Vi down there, so uh, they're able to get the little bit of punishment for the attempted dive here by Weibo. Ends up being a little bit of a trade. And, and Light, truly uh, heroic timing there on the arrival, because if he's not there and Humanoid can chase on, Noah can flash oh. aggressively, that could have been the backbreaker. Because do note, right now Weibo still with a gold lead. Oh, Humanoid is... going in aggressively, but not hitting. Yeah, that's an ulti used. And now... The Ari with a little bit less mobility, of course, does have, uh, you know, not long to wait on a level two ultimate. Still, Spirit Rush is pretty important to how Humanoid wants to play out these fights. Xiaohu gonna catch this minion wave, and now it should be a dance around the Baron until this dragon becomes a talking point once again. What a present, this series. I was, it's not what I was expecting in terms of how close these games have been. This game still very much up in the air as well. It's good, I'm, first, I, good first series at Worlds. Yeah, I can't really gauge it. You know, I can't gauge where I think this particular game is going to go. I feel like Weibo are fighting so much harder this time. I feel I'm, like they I'm are playing Weibo. towards their composition a but, whole lot more. But Fnatic really did put a fair bit of hope in me after that first game. I've heard that's a that's a very dangerous thing, Atlas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not monologuing, though. I'm just, just saying it, <laughs> stating a fact. Like, they did well. Um, is that it's not maybe it's a bad <laughs> they monologue. successfully filled Atlas with hope. I like that. <laughs> hope was forcefully put in you. I do have hope now. <laughs> um, we'll just have to check in with whether that's allowed. Uh, as Noah gets, is going to catch a wave in the mid lane, and Weibo with a lot of vision. I feel like they've had just more vision throughout this entire series so far, and around this Baron, it's working out. I think the, the feeling of trepidation that both of you are experiencing right now is because. This still comes down to the next big team fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. It still comes down to the, the next big breaking point here because it has certainly not been determined yet. Oh, Chris taking a fair bit of damage here is interrupted. No blast code for you. The equalizer Tarzan. turned down. Doesn't quite work out, but Crisp is already dead. Tarzan getting closed in on him. Breathe. Going to have to be an absolute hero here, but he's knocked up. The scan is taken out. Razzle with an amazing flash, but Light is now in the fight, and Noah will be taken out. Oh. Triple now for the Ezreal, make it a quadra, and light turns up, and the lights are out for Fnatic. Oh my god! Four kills in the hands of light.
lights Ezreal. This game just went so far the way of Weibo. And it had started out so nice for Fnatic on their and, pick. And Look at this. The, the big thing here is that, yes, they get the Look at what they invest. That is Noah Zult, Razor Zult, and Oscar Zult. So, so much of the power of Fnatic, even though they're fighting in this choke, ends up making... And look at this play here from uh, the Jax. Actually getting the threat on Noah, Double stunning side. Razor as well, and then lights follow up. And if that wasn't enough, oh, shock shockwave, shockwave there from Xiaohu and Weibo with an impeccable fight. And, and the big thing is, yes, this is a lot of gold, but so many sums were used. And the sole fight that I think Fnatic otherwise would have loved to take, looking a lot rougher now. Jax is looking pretty good in this series, okay? Yeah. yeah. That follow for the double stun and Light instantly jumping over the back of Wolves to finish off the kills. Like, Weibo just forcefully retook control of that team fight, even though Fnatic start Ooh. out with the pick. Actually, looking, I thought that Fnatic used more. It's only Razork and Oscar's flash. And Noah has his backup now. Obviously, didn't have any in the previous play. But there you see, like, that's an insane spike when it comes to the gold. Do note, Fnatic can just give this up. They don't need, yeah. to, they don't need to fight for this dragon. They can wait and kind of have it equalize. I don't know if they want to do that, though. And that teleport says absolutely not. Nice charm to come through there from Humanoid. But Tarzan not taking a whole lot of damage at the moment. Immortal Skana seems to be a theme as well. Oh, you in know this series. He's on vision. He's on vision. Yeah, Tarzan does get himself over. Not going to quite find the stun, though, as Breathe gets into that back line. This Counter-Strike not quite as good, but Humanoid still going to get taken out of the fight. Another Shockwave on absolutely everyone in that particular area. And Jun going to get taken out in the end. Breathe going to finish him off. And I feel like Weibo, they may have just started this snowball a rolling. Yeah, that's going to be Dragon denied from Fnatic and possibly then turning everything over towards the Baron area of the map. I mean, it's 25 seconds on both Noah and Razork. Weibo just control the entire map. And that one team fight, really good for Weibo, but not back break. I think this one is. It denies the soul, it further builds the gold lead, and even if Weibo don't end up getting the Baron, which to be fair, I, I don't think there's a lot that Fnatic can do, uh, even if they wouldn't, they would be the first ones that would be able to get the back in, get back out on the map. And at this point, Fnatic wasn't going to be able to contest. And as we see, Weibo pick it up even further, building upon that gold lead. Yep, the Baron is going to be taken down. And I want to just put everyone's eyes towards Xiaohu. Last time, it was do or die you know, by Xiaohu and what he was doing in these fights. This time, he's 1-0-11, 100% kill, kill contribution in this game, and he's being this conductor of these fights, staying off to oh, the side, not pushing too ward. far forward, and that teleport from Breathe was beautiful. Because it's twofold, because there's so much mobility on Humanoid that if he doesn't also have to deal with the Jax, he might just be able to Spirit or uh, spirit Rush away, but instead, that uh, flank from Brief. Again, as you're saying, Kobe, that Jax looking mighty strong. Noah had had no options, really. And, and it's good call out by Weibo. They're like, this misfortune with no flash is an easy target. The deep ward that they left behind previously is what they used to start this out. And if you're sending the Jax uh, plus the Skarner straight towards the misfortune face, then there's not a lot that he could do. And Weibo successfully able to snowball, as you say. Now it's an easy push mid, rotate up through the jungle towards that top side. The secondary tower here really does not stand a chance. Well, Breathe probably going to find out that there is a Jun in that brush. So far, he's a bit of a secret agent. Finds a Magnus Storm on to three. The cease and desist comes in. The Ezreal has been taken out, but Humanoid had to sacrifice himself for it. The knockups are beautiful, though Crisp able to answer back, and Noah gets caught in the impale. I think that Weibo might just be too far ahead. And even though that grand entrance didn't work, it's only Jun trying to clip clop away. That's the beauty of a triple carry composition. Yes, Light gets taken out, but they have more than enough damage with the rest of the members. Yeah, Jun trying to get to his fountain here. I don't know whether he's going to be successful. There's hungry Weibo players, and it's Xiaohu that's able to cash in. 4-0-13 on this Ariana, looking so much better. And Weibo looking to even out the series. Yeah, and they're going to get at least two here uh, in the inhibitors with Breathe immediately after that fight, went mid to push the mid wave. So they got value out of both Baron buffs, pushing topside, pushing mid. They successfully get two inhibitors off of that fight as well. Also, say that was one of the more stylish Seeker's arm guards that we've seen from Breathe. He popped his Counter-Strike, then Seekers, so that the CC went off as he was still golden to finish off the kill. Here's a look at the initiation, though. And, and, and Light, 
uh, definitely was not aware of the rail, eat over the wall, and immediately got blown up. But this is, again, the problem. Like, even with so much damage being thrown in to light, it, it doesn't matter. Like, Xiao is completely uncontested in this fight. Brief, stylish oh, on the jacks. Cool. And at this point, an Orianna obviously has so much damage available. Even though he's still shy of the death cap, we can see if you can get these consistent rotations out. Matic without any damage. Not a lot that they can do. I, I think they could have looked for the end, but also, again, if Weibo somehow end up losing this here, that's the end. So trying to play it for like the 99%, I think is a good call. All right, because they got both top and mid inhibitors, very easy for Weibo now to finish the pressure. Just rotate over towards bottom side, push up the wave. Here comes the siege. Fnatic trying to pull off a last stand here. It's going to have to be an absolute miracle. The true shot barrage does go wide. Razzle tried to get in there just to push Crisp away, and he's just not going to even listen to him. There's a flash forward, though. They find the ultimate onto Shahu, but he just goes golden. And now it's Weibo's turn to throw a volley back two-man shockwave is beautiful and light is absolutely untouched this time around humanoid has some mobility but unfortunately he's moving only to the death chamber in this instance two of these nexus turrets will be taken out and weibo are going to even out the series here up against fanatic we're going to a game